This is our last day in Vancouver and I got to rent a Jeep for the day. We're just on our way down to Epic Adventure Outfitters and meet them guys in person and maybe order a couple of things while I'm there. That down there. I don't think I'll get that on the plane. Yeah, oh yeah, we can ship it. Okay. Not a problem. I'll probably grab one of those then. Yeah. So you can always get it shipped, and by the time you get home, it'd be there. Which is pretty close to how it went down. Here it is installed on my Gladiator. Yes, so I'm putting this footage of that. You're not putting the No, that's only one trip of ours. Oh, yeah. So that's done. Uh, now we're going to have to order all the parts to convert them to fit a Jeep because they're designed to fit a six bolt wrench. Oh, right, yeah. So that'll probably cost a few to switch them. And then it's going to be hilarious seeing them on something that small. But we'll see. It, it didn't snow well last year. It was not a good year. No, it was. Really, it was not a good year. It was just kind of Yeah. So, well, it makes a good video. Yeah. So that's why we do it. Build brand awareness and then build the manufacturing and the so, yeah, last time I was off road by myself on a trip was when me and Sean went down to Enza Borrego with our supercharged body. Mm -hmm. So that's like that's quite what, a while three ago. years ago. Uh, yeah. So this is going to change. This yeah. Is, well, I, mean, I can't wait to see what it, what it This is going to be built for tight trees and rock crawling. So hence the small wheelbase. And, but it's just hilarious. Honestly, it's just a funny vehicle. Yep. I kind of like the color, so it's going to be fun. We're using all parts, for the most part, that we haven't used before, except for like wheels. So you're experimenting with them? Always do. Try to build everyone a bit different so that I can have an actual real world opinion when I say yay or nay to somebody about it. That's in the Kootenays. So that's <laughs> How are you? Okay, I'll tell you. Tracy. Tracy. Nice to meet you, Tracy. He's well. How's your trip been? It's been a lot of fun. <laughs> a lot of fun. We went up to uh, Grand Forks, went up to Rattlesnake uh, Mountain there. Mm -hmm. And the next day, the, the mountain was on fire. Oh, no. But it wasn't. Yeah. Not where we were. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. You guys got any stickers or anything? Oh, that would be a good question. <laughs> we don't even have any. Not for my business. 
Put them in the fridge? Yes. That's what happens when the stickers are cool. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Tell you what's on here. Do you want me to tell you what's on here now, or do you want me to tell you what's on here and what I'm getting? Let's do both. Because I got a box of stuff over at Epic Adventure Outfitters. Not a box, it's a whole skid full of stuff. 17 boxes in total. I am switching from the Terraflex three and a half inch lift, which I do like. Um, it's got the eco diesel coils in the front, it's got the heavy duty coils in the back. I'm switching to Terraflex, or uh, I am switching to Metal Flow. Um, we got properly rated springs for front and rear something that metal club does which is awesome uh the shocks are staying they are the falcon 33s i love them yeah that's what definitely what i need for mine it makes such a big difference uh when you're on the highway stiffen them up get off road loosen them up. really okay i'm running a 38 inch ditto trail grappler is my favorite tire ever i love the size of them too Got a convoy rolling through. Got some pinstripes custom here in BC. You get these? <laughs> I got the Evo steel quarter pounder bumper on the front. Nice. And I look just, at those nope sites. I was just going to say, I just installed the nope site rock lights or nope site rock lights. All my lighting is nope site. Uh, except for my headlights, which is Oxbeam. I absolutely lo love the Knopfsite products. I love them as a company. Very, very happy with that. My only regret with my build is I didn't buy the Rubicon. I bought the Sport, thinking I would save money. Um, the axles <laughs> are a little bit more narrow on the Sport than they are with the uh, Rubicon, an inch and a half. So I had to get negative 38 offset to get these tires to not rub. Um, and also, I still don't have the transfer case. So once you weigh it all in, you know, I still, I'm going to buy the transfer case. And the, uh, the gas transfer cases don't fit the diesels. So you're going to need a spacing. I think America's Most Wanted uh, makes a spacer for it. What else? I got the extrusion rack, which is awesome. It's got, a, you know, the gas struts. You can get reach all your stuff. I actually keep my fridge right here, my ISCO fridge it's uh, not plugged in right now but there it is and there's your spare tire there's my spare up in here yeah i love the white thank you i tried to find one uh, set of whites for my tj and just couldn't find them oh no <laughs> old school right i like mm. it um the 38s from the 37 is actually a, a way bigger deal than i thought uh, it definitely, you can feel it. Like I, I re-geared four, five, six. I'm actually gonna re-gear four, eight, eight now for the 38s. For the 37s, it was great. Um, with the 38s, it does lug a bit more. So I wanna, I wanna get that back. Brand new tent from Inspired Overland. Brand new, this is their carbon fiber tent. It's uh, only 80 pounds. I remember you saying that it was yeah. the lightest one on the market, yeah. So I actually loaded it up there by myself, which is it's crazy. And you can just literally lift it off and- It looks like, the same thickness as my phone. Yeah, it's a, it's a most narrow one as well. It's four and a half inches, I think. Comfortable? Um, it is comfortable. It comes with a two-inch uh, inflatable foam mattress. I don't know why they call them inflatable. It's not inflatable. It's what it is. It's compressed foam. It's mm -hmm. not. It's not an inflatable air mattress, right? It's compressed foam. Um, so so far so good. I haven't used it yet. I'm excited to use it, but it, it's pretty much the same, right? You got a hard shell, and yeah, the, the dimensions are pretty much the same as everything else. Uh, it's just way lighter, which is awesome. I love light. Yeah. Um, now, you may want to talk to Extrusion because I think this is the same setup that Matt has, right? Yep. Get your logo on there like he's got his. Right, exactly. Also, they have, uh, right now I put a piece of wood for a spacer. Extrusion oh. actually makes proper mounts. I just don't have one right now, so I'm going to be putting that in as well. Mm -hmm. <laughs> love it. That's it. And then the Trapo decal, I love that. <laughs> That's nice. It's nice when it's clean. It's just it gets dirty, you can't even see it anymore. And this is from my hometown? The well, combat pretty close, yeah. yeah. Combat off-road taillights. You know, I've, I've been running them for a little bit now. I still have no problems with them. 
which I couldn't say about my other flesh mount lights. Yeah. My <laughs> other flesh mounts. And I've had heard nothing but problems with that uh, other yeah. flesh mount. Yeah. Every single one I've seen, they, they burn out. So. And these ones I've had no, no issues with them whatsoever. So if you don't know who Teddy is, he runs the channel Unwinding Roads. Unwinding Roads, yeah. I'm going to put a link down below so you can actually check it out himself. It's one of my favorite channels on YouTube. Thank you. <laughs> Do it again. I just, uh, I just realized that I installed this cap upside down. Oh no! <laughs> Well, let's take the wheel off and see if we can fix that. Yeah. <laughs> Just wanted to give a big thank you to Christian for taking the time to give me an awesome shop tour. Paul, I really appreciated hanging out with you and sharing some laughs. And Teddy, thanks for meeting up and showing me your gladiator. It was a great time to hang out with all of you guys. So we're at the airport and we're on our way home. We had a great time while we were here. And uh, bye, BC. Bye, BC. This concludes my BC series. If you enjoyed it, here are two other videos from this series. Please give it a thumbs up and we'll see you again next week when I take my gladiator back out. Can't wait for that. See you guys then.